is the time of year it's okay for all of us to play dress up. <laughs> In death tonight, Brian Master examines one metro haunted house where you will likely leave at the very least creeped out. There's the guy that cat calls in the hallway. He is a blast. To hear Carla Borgala tell it. There's a gentleman downstairs on the first floor that will take his coffee cup and bang it against the bars until you tell him to stop. Her co-workers could use some interpersonal skills. This guy usually wants to know why you're here or give him a cigarette. This isn't a case for the HR department though. She works alone at an historic jail in downtown Council Bluffs. Usually up here on the second floor, you can feel the fingers run through and go out to the side. Does that make your spine tingle a little? No, you get used to it. <laughs> How do you get used to that? It's happened a lot. <laughs> With Halloween approaching. Is there anyone in this room who would like to make themselves known to us? A team of Omaha Metro paranormal investigators. We've come here to talk to you invited us along to see if the ghosts or spirits who talk with Carla would chat with us. Carla said you like to play with her hair sometimes. You can touch my hair. We used a number of tools, from night vision glasses to equipment measuring magnetic interference. Interesting place. After an hour in the squirrel cage jail, what did we find? Nothing obvious. Uh, fluctuations in temperature. But that happens, we're told, no matter how haunted a place may be. It can be disappointing not to find anything. But on the other hand, if you find something and it's not real, it's no good. Is anyone here with us? Up next, another team of investigators. I know you're here. I can feel you here pushing on me. Jerry Eric comes at ghost hunting from a unique perspective. Being a pastor, it's quite interesting. Someone is in here. Four years ago, the pastor had a spiritual awakening. I believe wholeheartedly in God. I believe wholeheartedly in paranormal activity. There's absolutely nothing. The ghost hunting was a bust, or so we thought. Someone in the crew heard a voice, which is very interesting. That someone was Justin Cadlick. WWT Promotions Director. Here he is lurking in the background while we did interviews. I don't know what it was. There was an audible, like, whisper in, like, right here next to my face. And when the audio experts analyzed his recording the next day, they found this. They actually were able to hear what sounds like almost a conversation between almost two separate voices. Do you hear it? Definitely freaked me out. Yeah, uh, hair on end. Enough that he never wants to go back. But that's okay. It seems this Halloween and all year long, the squirrel cage jail has plenty of company. With photographer Jim Hinchick, I'm Brian Master reporting, WWT6 News. Goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be all right? <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you want to see the downtown Council Bluff Squirrel Cage Jail for yourself, tours will take place tomorrow night right around Halloween, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock. Hard to cover your eyes and hold your ears at the same time. Right, yes. You had to hear something. Well, the admission, by the way, is $5 per person. That show Murder, She Wrote, used to scare me. So clearly oh, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> this isn't made for you. Well,